Winnie the Pooh had a glow up and now he's destroying your pubs. If you clicked on this video, then that means you probably lost to Ursa a few too many times. Let's learn how to counter it. If we check Dodo buff, we'll get a rough idea of the heroes that are statistically favored against Ursa. But in case you don't pick one of these heroes, let's break down what makes them good counters to Ursa. How do Ursas generally like to play? In most situations, Ursa just wants to be able to get on top of a hero, kill them as fast as possible with overpower and fury swipes, and to disengage and repeat for the next target. This makes Ursa one of those heroes that hates being kited. Kiting is a term that basically means using stuns, slows, gap creating abilities, or any type of stalling mechanism to control a hero without directly fighting it one versus one. Some heroes may have defensive spells that make them elusive or hard to kill, or they will have disables or lockdown for controlling heroes like Ursa, or they naturally just buy kiting items. Try to think about which of these your hero has and how you can use it against Ursa in your games. Are you a hero like Wind Ranger who can easily dodge his attacks and get away? Are you a hero like Shadow Shaman who waits for the right time to lock him down? Or are you a hero like Ogre Magi who just comfortably slots a four staff or a halberd? Dota is all about learning how one matchup or interaction works and applying that knowledge to other scenarios. Laning. Ursa can be one of the hardest popular safe lane heroes to lane against if you're a melee hero. If you're ranged, then just try to keep your distance and click him as much as you can without giving up CS or denies. If you're melee, then here are some tips. Pay attention to your stacks. Trading a couple hits early is fine, but after 3-4 to four stacks, make sure you let the Fury Swipes debuff time out. The damage ramps up fast and can catch you off guard if you think about other things in the lane. Whatever you do, do not duel the bear to the death, you will lose. Invest in move speed. I mentioned in the how to counter Slark video that safe lane bullies have a goal of getting as many right clicks off on you as possible, so buying boots and or an early wind lace to counter the slow from Earthshock or a potential Orb of Venom can help a lot. Coordinate with your support. If you can bully the Ursa with your support, then he may not be able to do anything about it. But if you are two melee heroes, you may need to keep your distance from Ursa and even focus your attention on the enemy support. Or, in the worst case, just drag the creep wave. Buy extra regen. A simple tip I can give you is to buy extra regen during the lane. A deeper thing you can start thinking about is to pay attention to which regen item you're buying. Tangos are great against heroes that constantly poke you in lane, whereas salves can be great against more bursty or high committal heroes. Mid game. Most of Ursa's power spikes and timings in the mid game revolve around Roshan. A popular build on Ursa is to get Battle Fury or some scaling item first, and to follow it up with a Blink Dagger. This allows him to close gaps and burst heroes. Then it's pretty usual for him to walk up to Papa Roche and 1v1 him for an extra life. Let's put it this way, an Ursa with Battle Fury will most likely want to farm. An Ursa with Battle Fury and Blink will try to farm but look to join fights. And an Ursa with Battle Fury, Blink, and an Aegis will look to posture aggressively and take over the map. So if you can't pressure the Ursa in lane or while he's farming with his early items, then you better make plans to contest each Roshan. Always have an idea of where Ursa is. If you have no idea, then scan the Roche or scout it out with a hero or unit. A ward near Roche pit may be helpful for scouting Ursa, but just keep in mind he could potentially smoke into the pit. Another important thing to note is Ursa's ability to solo the Tormentor. If Ursa is able to take both Tormentors, it can be a huge net worth swing and add a lot of impact for his team. Try to take your own Tormentor early and play with the idea of pushing into the enemy's offlane and taking theirs. High Ground An Ursa going high ground will usually have an Aegis and at least one defensive item. Your strategy here is to poke, kite, and keep track of Ursa's cooldowns. 1. Poke Use some low committal spells to force a response from the Ursa or his team. Make him use BKB, make him use ultimate, just make him use something. 2. Kite. Try to stall during the cooldowns. If he pops in Rage or BKB, then try to kite him, or at least feed someone who has buyback. 
3. Abuse these cooldowns. When he has no ultimate or BKB, then you can start committing your spells and resources more aggressively. Itemization. Kiting has been the theme of this video, so let me show you some items that are amazing for the job. Yule's Scepter may be one of the best items against Ursa early in the game. This is because the duration of Yule's is not reduced by status resist. Just keep in mind that the Yule's can be dispelled once he gets his Aghanim Scepter. Force Staff, Glimmer, Ghost Scepter, and Halberd are also examples of great kiting items against Ursa. Although Ursa's damage ramps up quickly and can seem quite high, almost 100% of his damage is physical, and this means that armor and evasion will have the highest impact on your effective HP pool. Aggressive items can also be helpful for killing Ursa around the map or dealing with him in fights. An early Orchid can be great for preventing him from getting his ultimate off. Also, a late game nullifier can be extremely annoying for Ursa since it will constantly purge his overpower stacks. That's it. If you like these short guides on how to counter heroes, leave a like and subscribe. Please comment what hero I should do next. Also, I stream during the week in the evenings, so stop by and say hi. See you guys next week for another video. Peace.